and that rod in turn comes up here and works that upward that's the way the governor works in the simplest terms so now to adjust the front up there the um, you 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 want to adjust it for that if the engine overrun then it could actually when the when the fly balls comes out when it gets to that point right there it would shut the engine down that's the way the governor is supposed to work so what you do is you come back to the front and be careful with this pop metal little cast bracket up there when you're fooling around up in here be very careful with that thing uh, take that loose uh, it's, see it's not enough play up there so I'm gonna have to take this bottom part down here we'll take that off and I'm gonna put the war the cotter pin back in there so I can have some play right here so that'll come undone I can get that over here like that now to adjust this thing what you do is manipulate your governor weights to the position to where that they have where they have flung open your governor weight should be at the outermost position with the collar over this way as far as it'll go so that puts this that puts this arm right here in a position to where it's at full travel so holding those weights out holding this in the exact position it is then what you do is raise this flapper thing up to see if you have enough play to where that when this comes up it will actually cut this off and still have some distance to go understood let's do it again governor waits out that's that's in their, their normal outward position that's where this would be at up here okay raise that completely up that's closed okay see that's way too short if you put it in right there it still had that much play so this has got to be lengthened quite a bit okay that's quite a bit now let's do it again uh, fly balls out position holding this fly balls out and this to the top now this point right here is further up than that thing is out okay so then if you come back and you flung your weights outward and come up then that actually goes over no I don't either it needs to go some more okay when the, when the when the to check that adjustment up there when these fly ball weights comes out all the way and you come up here and look at that that should be more than bottomed out against that stop over there okay which it is now but I'm going to check it again with the book method fly balls out and, and if you think that I have done this too many times and it's took too long it's going to take you about the same amount of time if you do it correctly so I got the fly balls out I'm holding this upward arm in the position where it's going to be bring this and come all the way up bring it over and I have more than more I, ha I got I've got about a turn too much but to err on too much you want it to be more I don't know though let's second think that let's do it again fly balls out governor over there uh, now let's check and see how much play we got you know that's about right okay I'm gonna lock it in right there I, I think that's good I'm okay with that so what I'm gonna do is bring this off 
Now I'm going to go over there in the vise and tighten this up. This set screw right here. Because I don't want to put any pressure on, on either, either of these things. All I did was lock this nut against that bottom thing right there. Put that right on there. And put that right there. Put that on there. The washer at the top. Cotter. Spacer washer at the bottom. Cotter. Okay, now let's uh, let's open them cotters up. And here's the one on the intake valve, and also on that intake valve. Well, let's open that up. On this intake valve, once we get it running. I will I will try different pressures. This this back nut here, the 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 further in you put that is the more pressure you put on that valve, and the further out here that's the intake, is the weaker it is. So uh, we may do some adjustments there, but uh, the at this point in time uh, we can set them. Cotter's correct. Okay. That one's done. Bring that one around. That one around. Crimp him up like that. And crimp them together. That's done. And this one up here, be careful with that thing up there. I cannot stress that enough. Uh, be very careful with this one right here. Uh, it don't take no. Uh, <laughs> it don't take anything to break that, uh, uh, especially them old ones. Good. Everything's locked up, tightened. Uh, okay, that's all they are. Uh, the uh, uh, let's let's manipulate them weights. That's all they are to setting a governor um, on a McCormick Deer and M. This is one and a half horsepower. It's the bailing wire engine. Next is the springs, the governor springs. And, you, and the way to do that, you put that right down in like that right there. And uh, the Carter, the Carter, he gets a Carter, put him right in there. And put it right up in there. Put it right in that hole in the inner. It's in there somewhere. Put that cutter right up in there like that right there. Hold that right there. And turn that right around like this right here. Push that cutter down that way. And reach right up in there. And spread those apart. And then turn it completely back around. And get right up in there with the screwdriver and, and just fitted that one around. That's good. Okay. Uh, the initial adjustments for a slow running engine is to adjust that out. I'm, I'm looking at the end of this pivot shaft and I want that to be adjusted to where that it's like one spring width one that's what it is at about 50 60 thousandths something like that that's how much tension is on that that's really weak and you do that and you do it again two springs makes up the governor spread that apart okay and then turn it right back around and get up in there and 
finish the spread apart. It's good to go.